Simple Cafe E Illustrated Tutorials for Your Electronics. Howdy partners. In this video, we're going to go over just how to connect your TV's optical audio to your sound system with an aux port. This very clearly won't fit. A big problem if optical audio is the only option out of your TV. I know that when I started, I thought, hey, there's probably an adapter for this, but no. Then I looked for an optical to aux cable. Now that would have been a nice find. Eventually though, I learned that neither of those exist. But there is a gadget for this, and it's a simple converter. Now hopefully you're not giving up now, because why pass up on great audio when you finally found the solution? We're about to see how simple the setup is, but first, there's one crucial thing to keep an eye out for when looking for yours. Because there are various types of converters, I'd hate for you to end up with the wrong one, wasting time and money. Okay, so the one thing to look out for is simple but super important. You may have noticed that these converters have two sides, right? One is going to be for input and the other for output. So then, all you gotta do is make sure that on the input side, it has a port entry for optical toss link. So you can send in the audio from your TV via the optical cable. Now on the output side, there will be a variety of ports to send out audio to your sound system. Make sure aux is one of them and you'll be good to go. Oh, and no need to faint if your converter only has an RCA port. An RCA to aux cable will save the day. Find them in the description. Right then, on to the installation. It's fairly simple, but at the end of the video, I'll show you where you can go to get more help if needed. To kick things off, you should know that these converters require a power source, so make sure you don't get one that doesn't have a plug for power. The optical cable from your TV set finally has somewhere to go now, so plug it into your converter's toss link port on the input side, so that it may receive your TV's digital audio signal and automatically convert it to analog for your speakers and or sound system. Alright, here we go. Now just turn it all on and enjoy. If you don't hear your speakers right away, no need to panic. Lots of TVs may require that you go into their audio settings to select external speakers. Here's the extra help I mentioned earlier. It's a playlist of videos that I'm building up that'll guide you through the menus to select external speakers for each particular brand because there's so many out there and they all vary. All this stuff should be easier, but it can get confusing at times. That's why I encourage you to explore my channel to hopefully find some simple answers. Or just subscribe, that way the next time you're looking for a tutorial, my videos are more likely to appear at the top of your search results. Hasta la vista, babies.